Two things, reduced impact, better workout. Why shouldn't you do it? You are significantly decreasing the amount of shock, the amount of energy that comes reverberating up that entire kinetic chain and it will deposit itself in your joints and in your tissues. Secondly, it forces your muscles to work down much harder. There's much less free energy that's bouncing up through your leg. Your foot sticks and now you have to pull it back off of the ground and you gotta propel yourself forward. Hey guys, thanks for showing up. Today's video, we're gonna talk about choosing a proper surface to train on, but also run on. Um, a lot of people like to run on either the sidewalks or roads because it's well groomed and it's safe to run on. The problem with that is there is a ton of impact that is being sent back up through your body. Here's what I want you to do. Do this test on yourself. Take a rubber ball, take a tennis ball. I want you to bounce it on asphalt or concrete. See how high that ball bounces back up. Let's say you drop it from hip height. Drop it from hip height, see how high it bounces back. Then take that same ball, go over to a softer surface, grass, even a trail, sand, various, various surfaces that are softer. I want you to drop that ball. What that ball replicates, or what that ball um, shows you, is how much rebound is in that surface. So when you're running on hard concrete, when you're running on asphalt, when you're running on sidewalks and, and paved community trails, you're gonna run faster because there's more rebound off of that ground. You put your foot into the ground and it's what's called free energy. The stiffer your leg is, the more free energy you're able to capture from that rebound. When you train on a softer surface, there's very, much, there's very little rebound. Your foot actually sticks into that softer surface. That gives you two main benefits. One, it decreases the impact on your joints. Initially the ankle, all the way up through the gastroc and soleus to the knee joint, all the way up your quadriceps, your biceps femoris, all the way up to your hip and towards your lower back. You are significantly decreasing the amount of shock, the amount of energy that comes reverberating up that entire kinetic chain and it will deposit itself in your joints and in your tissues. When you're doing a run, 5,000 steps, 10,000 steps, 20,000 steps, that Every time you touch that ground, that shock is coming back up through your body. You come to a softer surface, that shock has now been greatly reduced. Secondly, it forces your muscles to work down much harder. There's much less free energy that's bouncing up through your leg. Your foot sticks and now you have to pull it back off of the ground and you gotta propel yourself forward. You wanna do a mini little trial. Test this out. I want you to pick a section of strip that has grass and then a bit of concrete. You can do it on somebody on the front of your lawn, okay? But I, I want you to do this repeatedly. Pick maybe three or four different driveways that you can run on. Run on the grass and then hit that concrete. And I want you to just notice how easier it is to run on the concrete because you're getting that free energy. It's something that a lot of people maybe not haven't thought of, but every time I tell clients that or tell people, they're like, yeah, my, I have had such strength gains and also a little bit of decrease in maybe shin splints and various problems that they might have with their lower kinetic chain because there's less impact. Two things, reduced impact, better workout. Why shouldn't you do it? And another great thing you can do with softer surfaces is you can do barefoot training. Because your foot ha lands on a softer surface, it's easier on your joints, but then it's harder because you don't have that shoe to, st to stabilize yourself. So if you've got a backyard, even if it's just like 10 feet by 10 feet, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. I'm, I'm sort of fortunate enough that I have a large backyard so I can do a lot of stuff with it. But all of the videos that I've shown you guys, the mobility drills, the next evolution of all those is to make them harder. Do them with shoes, but on grass. Notice the difference. Then once that gets quite uh, easy, or you wanna step to the next evolution, the next level, do it on grass with bare feet. And just realize, it. be careful the first few times you do it, because you don't have that shoe if you're just transferring into barefoot training. But, um, a real recommendation is use the softer surfaces to train most of the time. Then, when you go over into the harder surfaces, you're gonna be that much faster because your body's gonna be running. It's gonna be like, whoa, I'm getting all this free energy, man. This is beautiful. And you're just gonna be coasting. Try that experiment where you're running on grass, then running on asphalt, running on grass, running on asphalt or concrete. And notice how you, you pick up a little bit of pep in between those little splits, those, those split times or those intervals. So um, if you're gonna do a long distance uh, session or a long distance run or a competition, train on the softer, then do a couple of test runs on the harder surfaces so that your body's really prepared for that um, certain um, element but you will get faster, you will get stronger, and you will decrease your chances of getting injured.
Thanks for showing up, guys.